You're watching Midland Woso, I'm Craig Hadley. With the return of the Women's National League, we take a look back at some of the action from the past weekend, starting with Rugby Borough. Lee Birch's side got off to the best possible start with a 10-0 win on the road at Halifax, the opener scored by Jess Camwell. Another would soon follow, a beautiful move cutting through the defence, finished by Yasmin Mosby. She went on to score a hat-trick. In a game with so many goals, the pick of the bunch came in the 37th minute, a Halifax clearance falling to Ebony Wiseman, who released a thunderbolt into the top corner. She almost took the net off in the process. Nikki Potts raced in at the back post to make 8-0 late on and to claim a hat-trick of her own. Mosby added her third in injury time from the penalty spot. Every goal counts and every opportunity to, to try and put another one on the scoreboard is, is always going to be really important. So I think the group know that. They have the mentality that they want to keep pushing and keep the intensity right up to the final whistle, which they did. Newly promoted Sporting Cowser welcomed established Tier 3 side Derby County who opened the scoring for a scrappy goal by Kira Ray. Kelsa were back in it when Emily Joyce's attempted clearance fell to Neve Daisy, who guided the ball home on her debut for the hosts. Freya Heap produced a remarkable save to deny Paris Dalton and Derby the leads once more. Heap was once again on hand to deny Derby, this time Camille Jenkins, one-on-one, -on -one, was denied by the outstretched hand of the keeper, pushing her effort wide. The pressure told in the second half. A ball over the top put into the net by Shen Muir at the second attempt. Rebecca May then extended Derby's lead with a fine free kick before Jenkins headed home a fourth late on. It was an afternoon to forget for Stoke City as two long range efforts from Nat Johnson put the game beyond doubt at the Bet365 Stadium. It got worse when Jess Revel conceded a penalty which Charlie Wellings dispatched. With the news that Wolves boss Dan McNamara would go full-time this season, Amber Hughes got off to the best possible start for the team. Jay Cross's pinpoint cross gave Charlotte Greengrass her first goal in gold minutes later. Starbridge tightened up but couldn't prevent the magical feat of Tammy George, who just stuck past the keeper. Enya Dunham added a fourth late on to condemn Adrian Clements to his first defeat as Starbridge boss. Fran Orthodoxu's second half header looked to be given West Bromwich Albion an opening day win for the second consecutive year. But a fantastic strike from Emma Johnson meant the Baggies had to settle for a point. Disappointed obviously, I wanted to come away with three points. Um, but comparing it to last season, you know, uh, first game of the season, we've come away with, with something. So, you know, it's a lot to build on. Learfield Athletic took all three points at home to Northampton, Jess Lowe scoring the opener. Jade Bell equalised with an equally cool finish before Evie Gallup scored the winner late on. We grafted and we worked hard. Um, I asked the girls and I asked them to, by five o'clock, come off with no regrets and that's exactly what they've, uh, what they've managed to come off with in a, in a massive, massive three points um, against one of the sides that I do believe will be probably top four or five. Newly promoted Worcester City could be forgiven for having a few nerves making their Women's National League debut. Two early mistakes by the city keeper Kirsty Bridgewater allowed Tara Kirk to score twice in nine minutes. Jess Fashnidge added a consolation for Worcester with a deft finish in the corner, much to the delight of the home crowd. And finally, Sutton Caulfield got the better of Solihull Moors thanks to Eva Rogers' powerful strike a difficult place to come and um, obviously I've been out with an injury and I just thought if I got on the pitch today I wanted to try and prove a point. I've been working really hard um, with Brian and yeah, to get the goal was, topped it off really, I was really pleased. 